Hey everybody, big welcome back to what is an unfortunate site out in Brantford, Ontario, which is a small community. I, I think, I believe it's a town. It's a little under 100,000 people. I saw on the news that um, they are getting flooding throughout the city. It's affected a bunch of homes and it's based on the, the big temperature swing I'm guessing we had. We went from below zero a few days ago to plus 15, which basically freed up all this ice. I'll get good and close so you can see the ice. Um, Unfortunately, they had uh, massive portions of the city or town closed off, so I couldn't actually get in um, close enough uh, like to get where the houses are and stuff like that. Um, also sad to report, it appears that um, a young child had lost their life. The mom went around a barrier and the vehicle was swept away and uh, very unfortunate. I guess she tried to get the kid out, but was washed out of her arms or something like that. So... Thoughts are with them, unfortunately. Um, if the barriers are there, guys, don't go around barriers. It's uh, it's just not even worth it. And I'm not trying to blame the mom because, you know what, I'll be honest, I've gone around barriers in the past. But with a situation like this, it's obviously not the best decision to uh, to make. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's really a shame. I don't know. I don't know what I would do if I was in this situation. But, um, all the people that were being evacuated. So, um, basically because everything was closed off, I had to go onto the, like this country side of the road, more or less to, uh, do the filming, uh, out from the middle of nowhere from a parking lot that overlooked everything. Anyway, when it was going back, you could see the evacuees leaving the town and it was just like, you know, kilometers worth of traffic backed up through these country roads, because I believe it's a mandatory evacuation for these low lying areas. And it's not something we typically face uh, around here, but I guess uh, you never know what's going to happen when it comes to Mother Nature. Um, let's get on to Mother Gas. I'd like to mention that you guys owe me 40 bucks because when I got the idea to record this, I was at work and I was thinking, oh, cool, I'm going to go after there after work or out there after work and film this. But then I realized, oh yeah, my drone batteries are only like half charged, which means I've got to bring my truck home, which I normally leave at work. But because it's got the uh, 120 power outlets in it, that means I can charge the uh, the drone and the controller, and my phone needed to be charged at the same time because it was down to only like 20% or something like that. But um, so yeah, anyways, it cost me about 40 bucks in gas. So if you guys want to send that over, my email is cdnstudman at gmail.com. I would appreciate that. Um... <laughs> No, but seriously, it uh, was really quite the sight, and I get as low as I can. Unfortunately, the way the hill was that I was situated on, I believe it's like right in front of us, the hill actually. Um, when I drop down, signal starts cutting out, and I also have a problem with the charging port. The stupid C port on my uh, Note 8, or uh, S8 Plus, um, it's very loose. So if I if I have the controller like you know plugged in and I'm actually flying, it's constantly uh, losing video but at least i don't lose signal like to the actual drone the remote stays connected it's just uh, i have to keep unplugging my uh my wire and stuff so i got to go get that fixed I, I called samsung the other day and it's like 300 bucks for the charging port and the screen because i have two cracks in the screen so um and they won't fix the charging port unless you fix the screen because they say it'll shatter when they open it but whatever i guess it's worth it it was like a 1200 dollar phone or something so Anyways, back to uh, what we're looking at here. This is, uh, I, I don't know the actual lay of the land here. I'm going to guess that that normally is a pond off to the left. And the river is obviously what I'm flying right above right now. Um, but then part of me was wondering maybe it's farmland. I think maybe we'll get a better swing and uh, look around after. I'm going to come up and around. but uh, So I didn't get the good ice. If there's such a thing as the good ice, I'll mention that um, if you search on YouTube, hopefully some other people got better footage um, earlier in the day or something because the good ice was down where the roads were blocked. And so we were able to park and walk over and have a look. And like these ice blocks were like the size of a car, if not bigger. Um, so it was quite the sight to see. I believe in this field, I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to fly down. That's right. We're going to go down and we're going to look at some of the ice blocks. And you can see where the flow like has been. These are big chunks of ice out in this field. So... I think the water had uh, receded a bit by the time I got there to fly around. But 
yeah, so downriver, though, these things were huge, but there was just no way I would be able to fly right there in the city and stuff like that. And I didn't feel it would be in my best interest with, you know, millions of cops around and stuff. So anyway, yeah, look at the size of these. These were washed into this field. So that tells you, like, the the flow that must have been going through here earlier that I didn't capture on this. So I'm going to be checking YouTube myself to see who did, because I'm sure somebody out there must have a drone as I work all day. So I didn't get to check that out yet, but uh, I'll definitely be on it. So I'm going to start heading back towards my truck. It was just a quick flight. It was actually, I had to uh, brighten up the screen before taking off because it was actually like sunset here. So it was pretty, uh, pretty dark. So I'm actually impressed with the uh, how bright I was able to make it because it was actually a lot darker in person. So, but that's actually a really pretty scene right there, to be honest. You could like freeze frame that and just have a nice picture if you wanted. But that'll pretty much wrap it up, guys. My, uh, you know, my thoughts and prayers are with the, uh, with the nice folks of Brantford. It's a nice little town. And uh, especially out to the family that uh, did lose their child uh, through this and hopefully no others will make the same mistake like i said i'm not putting blame on anybody i realize some people will some people won't you know i'm sure most of us have done it gone around a barrier so i guess we'll have to wait and see what happens with that but um anyhow thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed this uh, little video or i don't know if enjoyed is the right word but you know what i mean anyway we will see you guys next time